Hey there, Woodsuit family, it's Ryan here, and if you know anything about me, you know that I really like notebooks. In my office at home, I actually have a shelf almost entirely dedicated to my notebooks. You see, I tend to write down a lot of stuff, a lot of scraps here and there. And my habit of keeping a notebook on me has evolved over time. And if you want to know a little bit more, I've put a link down in the show notes to a blog post that I wrote about how I actually set up my notebooks. Everywhere I go, I tend to carry at least one notebook on me. If you want to get a sense of just how many notebooks I have on the go, here, let me take you through them one by one. All right, so first up is my field notes notebook, which I carry with me everywhere I go. It's kind of like my day-to-day -day calendar that helps me to remember important things, write down important things, track important things. So it's kind of my all around go-to notebook. When I want to write something a little bit more narrative-y, you know, a little bit more of it like a traditional journal, I have this red notebook, which I tend to do all of my tiny little jots in. When I'm thinking about personal development, I have a second red notebook, so I make sure not to carry them both at the same time if I can help it. I have a log that I keep in my car to help keep notes about maintenance and things that I'm gonna purchase for the car. This larger yellow notebook, I use it to track ideas around the house, so projects, things to do, things I need to fix. This is my teaching notebook. This is where I keep all of the notes and reflections that I have about teaching. Then I got another larger one here. This is my ethics board one. I as the chair, I have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I want to execute on. So I make sure to track them in here. Ah, this one is fun. This one started out as a notebook in grad school. However, I didn't really get very far, only about three pages in. And then it sat on my, my shelf for a while. So then I reappropriated it into my D&D log. And so now I use this to write notes on all of our encounters, all of our adventures, and then I started to do some doodles in it. So it's quite interesting to go back a couple years and take a look at what we've been doing in the, in the long spanning, long running session for our adventures in D&D. The last notebook I want to talk about is this one right here. And I started to use this one as my career book. So anytime that I was having thoughts about what I wanted to do in my career in general, not job specific, but just career in general, and I didn't really know where I wanted to go, I would write stuff down in this book. I'll read you something that I wrote back in July of 2015. With all that is going on in my life, I'm starting to feel lost and adrift. I feel as though I'm losing sight of my path and am aimlessly wandering. I'm moving forward, but I might not be heading where I want to be. Now seems like a good time to do a check-in. The inspiration for today's vlog actually comes from two sources. The first is a podcast episode by Tim Ferriss where he interviews author Jim Collins, the author of Good to Great, and an interview that I had with the president of the college last week. Now in Tim Ferriss's podcast, they were talking about when Jim Collins met one of his mentors, Peter Drucker, and that first interaction, and he described something that really resonated with me, and I'd like to read it to you. And by the way, this was, let me pause here for something for anybody, you, anyone that's listening. If somebody is willing to give you mentor time like that, you owe it to them and to you to go prepared and then do a lot of writing after. So I put in an entire couple, three days into preparing for being able to meet with Peter. And then when I came home, I still probably have, I'm sure, my notes. I mean... I sat down and I just processed and I wrote and wrote and wrote everything I gleaned from that meeting. And there were other interactions later, but that meeting and that notion of you owe them the respect of going prepared. It's not like, hey, I want to hang out. Let's network. It's not like that. Like you need to go and then you need to process and then you need to make good on it. I heard that in the podcast a couple days before I went to go meet the president and something about it really stuck with me. I wasn't going to meet the president in order to have a mentorship meeting and I wanted to make sure to honor that meeting as best I could. And so after I met with him and it was only 30 minutes, it wasn't really that long of a meeting, I came back, I sat down at my desk and I wrote out two full pages of notes on what was said, what he said, what I said, the kind of impressions that I had, the kind of advice that he gave me. It was all just, I took everything that I had in my head and I poured it out into these pages. I think it's really important to reflect, especially for growth and development, but it's important that you reflect objectively. You have to sit down and write stuff out as it's on your mind. It's really difficult to go back and try to remember things that happened, 
after a certain amount of time has passed. I really want to be mindful of you know, where I am, where my career is going, where my different projects are. And I can't do that if I'm trying to keep everything all organized in my head. It's just, it's just not going to work for me. And so I have a lot of notebooks. I have a lot of separate little siloed pieces that allow me to just take everything that's up here and put it out on paper so that I can always come back to it and reflect and build and have a sense of traction in my life. This isn't something that I developed overnight. I've been working on this for, oh, the better part of a decade. So if it's something you're interested in, you can always check out my blog down below or feel free to hit me up in the comments. And I'm always looking for great ideas on ways of doing fun stuff with my notebooks. Uh, I do follow a lot of bullet journal stuff online and I just, I grab a lot of really cool, interesting ideas and see if I can implement them myself. So if you have any tips or tricks, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and letting me share my notebooks with you. I really appreciate the time. Take care and stay awesome.